Hello everyone, welcome to Chirac's MongoDB tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to backup and restore MongoDB in Windows using both the command line and MongoDB compass. So we have a tutorial link. This link will go through that and step by step process will follow on this link. So MongoDB database server, I have the Windows server. So that is MongoDB database server, I am running 192.168.224.133. So I have taken remote of that server, MongoDB is already installed. For the installation of a MongoDB in server, so you can view on the other video, previous videos. So now I am going to connect with the Mongo Compass to MongoDB. So Mongo Compass is the GUI tool for the MongoDB database. Meanwhile, I have to. Op I'm opening this one into in my server. Okay. So first, we have taken the remote. Install the MongoDB tools. First, ensure that you have the MongoDB database tool installed, which is included as the Mongo dump and Mongo restore. Initially, MongoDB database don't include the Mongo dump. So let me check with that. So program files, and uh, there is a MongoDB server. 8.0 and bin you are not able to find the mongo dump and mongo restore so we have to just download the mongodb tools so database tools so copy this link and just download from this link so go down MongoDB command line database tools download. Sorry. So in zip format, I'm downloading this Windows 60, uh, 64 bit, and this is the version. So downloading started. So download is completed. Now let me op open the extract this file. So copy the bin files and you can keep separate also, but I am keeping in my bin folder so this is my bin folder mongodb bin folder binary file so just copy now <laughs> i may i'm going to add this one into environment path so just search So click on the environment variable, just search it and go to the your path, path, just double click on that and just copy the your bin file path, folder path and just paste it there and click on OK, OK, OK. Now your MongoDB is added with the environment path so next i'm going to create a database so first connect your database
so this here just click in plus your database name so my data database here i'm just dying uh, giving the database name my database and collection name you need to give at least one collection name for the creating the database so i'm giving the users just create database Similarly, I'm adding one more collection that is the orders. So one database is, uh, document is there and inside the document we have a two collection is there. One is order and second one is users. We don't have data now. You can able to see that. So first I'll go to the user and I'll just insert the data so you can we did you can copy the json format or you can type this easily you can type this one so copy this go to add data insert document and paste there and just click on insert so data is inserted you can able to say check there is a document uh, object id will be there and this is my data i just now i have inserted this so similarly i i am going to insert into the my order table order uh, collection so click on orders insert document so inserted successfully there is order and inside the time items there is a two objects you can check with the object laptop quantity one object two there is a keyboard quantity one so data is inserted into a, my database next our prime task is in this in this video is taking the backup with the mongodump cmd so mongodb uh, mongodump creates the binary backup of the mongodb data follow this step open your command prompt windows plus r type the cmd and press enter so we'll do the same run mongodb mongodb to backup the entire database uh, database run this command so this is the command this is a simple command we can run So mongodump then URI this is the my connection history connection name so mongodb if you have username password then you have to provide the username password localhost 27017 and this is on my path so you can go to this path you don't have this folder till now it automatically creates when we need so we don't have the path to backup okay so now what i'll do i'll just run this one so writing admin system so all the document so all the database is backup now so you can able to check check go to there path folder is there two is there backup is there and admin and database in the database my database there is a two file collection is there so on your order second one is user so you can able to see both the are backup now i'm going to delete the both next command is so replace mongodb uh, localhost 2707 with the mongodb connection uri and this path where you want to the backup the backup your database you can replace this path backup the specific database so i'm just going to specific database my database okay so specific database we can take a backup so same thing i'm going to do there only i'm writing dash dash back uh, my database so my database is the my database name so backup you can able to see there only one database is backup now okay so here user and orders both will be fine now i'm going to delete this one also i'm going to back up specific uh, specific collection only one collection there is a two collection are there 
so mongodb uri same thing is the database my database and there is a collection name users users and out of this my path so out is the backup path and i'm going to collect with the users only so taking the backup so collection um, users is done go to there my database and here you just will be there now i'm going to take a backup of orders so orders also done so orders also done so both the database backup each backup now now what i'll do i'll just drop a collection so just like I'm going to drop so users is removed so next so backup is done now restoring the backup with mongo restore so all the database you want to restore then you can run this command so same command it will restore the database and you, you want to restore the specific database then you have to write this command database name and database so i am going to down uh, okay we don't have the full backup so we can run this one i am just showing you to rip, just uh, to to restore the specific collection just like users okay users order i'll do, do only for one great so finish now you go to the, your collection replace database so users will be there and we have only one data so like that we can do and uh, just i'll do the full backup this command So all the database backup now. Put the database. Now I'm going to drop. I'm not going to restore admin. I'm going to restore my database only. So I'm going to drop my database. My database. Now I'm going to restore my database this is a dump this one that restore so mongo restore i'm going to just restore this one so this is successful refresh this so you can able to check both the database uh, both the uh, collection with the database is restored now so a specific collection oh, overall database and particular database and particular collection you can restore and backup now taking backup of the mongodb compass so with the mongodb compass i want to take a backup so just like go to the user export data and export data with the full collection and here you will find the two uh, export data types are two types json and csv any type of the export you can choose so export i'm just going with the json and keeping into the my desktop okay now i'm going to drop this one now go to your desktop and let me open this one so you can find the data whatever data we have we can find it there so this is my data i inserted into my database previously so this data is backup now i want to restore the same data or database or collection the egs step is that just add okay. just create the collection name and go there import 
json and csv file so just click on import so data is inputted successfully so you can able to check this data is available there now so similarly we can do just delete delete one document so just you check we don't have any data okay now you can with the collection is not deleted we are deleted only the data now you can import so data is imported now now i want to export that my data into the csv format so csv format again i am deleting the data comment is deleted refresh this so we don't have any data you can check with that now i want to import so add data import csv and there is a csv file you can able to check there is a object a string a string and this is the data you can see there now i'm going to import so data is imported successfully So in this video we have learned backup and restore MongoDB in Windows using both the command line and MongoDB compass. Step by step process is given there and MongoDB tools are required for the backup and restore the database in command line. So uh, check your collection to confirm the data was imported successfully we, did, we, we have done. And for any doubts and query please write on the YouTube video comment section. Note follow the process on in the video. Please subscribe and like for the more videos. Don't forget to follow, like, share and comment. Hope this will help. Thank you for watching.